What's up, YouTube? This is Immortal Afro Josh here to give some of my, some of my opinions on E3 this year. Um, not really a big fan of watching it. I normally wait for highlights and check out what's happened afterwards, but this year's E3 was special. Got a good look at some new consoles, the Xbox One, the PlayStation 4. Wii U's been out for a while, so know about that. Got a look at a bunch of new games, and here are my impressions of E3 and the consoles mainly. First off, Xbox, like, conference was terrible, as you might imagine. Not really much to say about it. It sucked. Now we got a PS4, pretty much the Jesus of the competition this year. Definitely came and set a standard, got things said, got things done, bunch of games, it's all people cared about. Great conference for Sony, did a good job, totally won this year, hands down. Like, there is no more competition, like, console war is over. PlayStation 1. But uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about, you know, why why this year's E3 was so uh, was so interesting. The, the biggest thing was uh, the whole fiasco with the Xbox One and their policies and online DRM and it was just terrible. Like, uh, me personally, I totally lost interest in the console thing because I had a feeling Sony would do the same thing. I wasn't too sure, but I already got my hopes crushed just in case they did, but they didn't, so they got me back. Like, uh, they pretty much stuck it to the man and showed Microsoft that they are terrible people. And Microsoft... Don't, I can't, there's not really much to say about them. Like, yeah, they made it clear they don't care about the gamers no more. It's all about TV, 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 profit, profit, profit. Yeah, they showed some pretty interesting games. They showed some, uh... I take that back, they didn't really show any interesting games. I mean, yeah, they showed games. I mean, the fact that their console was the way it was takes away from any type of hype that you would get. I mean, yeah, Killer Instincts was showed up, and, uh, I mean, I feel bad for Killer Instincts fans because they've been waiting, like, what, eight, 18 years for that game, and now they got it, but it's on the Xbox One, so... Hype Killer. Halo 5, as expected, no, nope, like, I don't care. Like, another Halo... Can't have enough Halo, I guess. You know, Halo, I, I guess it's just not it's just not for me anymore. Like, I love Halo 2. That's another thing. I was a huge Xbox fan. Started with Xbox One. <laughs> Started with the original Xbox. And 360, but won't be getting a 1. Because that's stupid. There's no reason to get a 1. If you get a 1, then I, I don't know what's wrong with you. Like, getting a console for one game. Like, if you're Halo fans out there, I know you like your Halo. But Halo 1, Halo 5... It's not a good enough reason to get an Xbox One. I don't care. It's not worth it. Like, nothing is worth getting on the Xbox One. Especially when you got the PS4 for $100 less, and it works. You don't have to worry about it cutting off on you in case you decide to, like, not look at it or something. Alright, next up, PlayStation 4. Did nothing but everything right this year. Brought me back from the depths thinking that the uh, console gaming was done with. They came back, told me, showed us all that gaming is still relevant under them. And I'm cool with that. Totally getting a PS4. When I get a PS4, if I can get a PS4, which I'm pretty sure I can. So, PS4, good job. Sony, did, did great. Round of applause for Sony. Microsoft can go to hell, but Sony, good. They came down, walked on water, healed the sick, gave everybody hope. Sony was Jesus this year. Jesus of gaming. They, 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 they mm. Another thing, like, I noticed people saying, like, E3 was really good this year. I disagree. And I only say that because the only reason why I think E3 was good was because of Microsoft. You have Microsoft to thank for E3 being so amazing. Because if they hadn't did what they did, this would have just been, like, another boring console launch. Or, not boring, but it would have been, like, semi-exciting. You know, oh, yeah, new Xbox, PlayStation, Wii. Yeah, time to play the game all over again. But because of what they did, you know, they added relevance to the fact that gaming was not did well. It's because of them, Crapstorm got started, but you know, Sony took it home, and it's all good. Congrats, Sony. I'm on your side now, forever, until you do the same thing. But the biggest game for me this year was Dead or Alive 5 Ultimate. Oh my god, that trailer was amazing. I... <sighs> best game ever. Like, I will I will attest to that, you know, that's just, uh, that's just me. I love fighting games. I don't play them as much as I should, but if there's a game that'll get me back into the circuit, it is Dead or Alive 5. Period. Cannot wait. Brought back some of my characters, and yeah, I'm buying the game again, and it sucks, but whatever. Better than getting an Xbox One, right? So those were my impressions for this year's E3 uh, consoles. You know, if just remember, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, 
Better lap out. Yeah, this year was good. This year was really good. Like, there's plenty more. Just look it up on the internet. I'll leave a few links below for, you know, links to, you know, info on whatever. But we all learned something today. Xbox can go to hell, or like, Microsoft can go to hell. PS4 is where it's at. We. We'll get around to you eventually. Till then, more Lapro Josh signing out. Later.